to the BBC and spread rumours that um, Nigel Farage didn't have sufficient funds to have a live account. Um, that that, that in itself, untrue. by the way, if that were true, that would still be an outrageous breach of confidentiality. Well, it would. And, I mean, this is not a private company, as you pointed out. This is a company which is 39% owned yes. by the taxpayer, you and me, yep. and everybody else watching, who bailed them out during the banking crisis in uh, 2008. And they are not a free agency to pick and choose their customers in the way that they are doing here. Yeah. And they need to be much more transparent. They need to explain exactly why they've done this. They're now hiding behind confidentiality <laughs> and, uh, and consumer privacy. But Nigel Farage has come out and explained everything, produced the evidence that they very reluctantly provided under the rules. And he, they need that now to explain why they've done this and whether they'll carry on doing it. Well, and indeed, they should not be allowed to. 